Wow, my favorite one. Um, five. Did, mm, I think he when he's beat the the Russian guy. Uh, Rocky Four. Yeah, uh, that's definitely my favorite one. For sure. <laughs> that was a deep question. You took a lot of big Yeah, questions. yeah, because it's a lot of movies, you know. Yeah, I are. start thinking about it for I think when he'd be the, the the tall guy, the skin. But I don't remember how's the number, but I, I remember. Ooh. It's gotta be the Mr. T one, Clever Lane, for sure. Both of them. Because he fought him in twice, didn't he? Yeah, both yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take Clever Lane over the, the Russian. So those are my <laughs> favorite ones. <laughs> Thank you. Ha 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 ha! I heard, man, the Creed movies is not—they're not bad at all. They're not bad oh, at the all. Rocky movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm trying to say, it's—I don't think I have a favorite Rocky movie. I have favorite parts of Rocky movies. I know a lot of people don't like the Rocky with his son, the one where his son's grown up. But that speech is like super inspirational. You know, the one when he's talking to his son about him not being a loser and stuff like that. I listen to that speech a lot. You know, so I guess, I guess I'll pick that one between that or the first one, obviously. But that's cliche. So I'll go with the, <laughs> I'll go, I'll go with the one with his son. Uh, first part. First one. Yeah. Uh, it would be. Rocky Three with uh, Clubber Lang, cool. where Clubber Lang was actually the hero for me, you know, and um, I think that in that movie, you know, it's, it's it is a movie, but uh, you know, uh, Clubber Lang wouldn't have lost the second fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like all of them, man. Yeah, not no not specific. I like when he knocked out the the Russian. That was a good one. Oh man, jeez. There, I, I couldn't, I think they all, they all go together, you know, and I feel like what's so special about all the Rocky movies is that you can relate to them at different points of your life. And, and um, you know, um, Sylvester Stallone is just so amazing at touching your heart, touching your soul, and, and being able to get those stories across that everyone can relate to so I was gonna say it might sound like a, bit, a little bit silly but since you become the fighter do you now look at those movies and go he got it or do you just think oh they're a bit cheesy Hollywood <laughs> I think anytime you watch like old school 80s movies they're all cheesy but you know we're all cheese balls every now and then and it's okay and uh, you know it's <laughs> life is way too short to take everything so seriously and hey how many how many people do you think were motivated to become real fighters because they watched the movie Rocky? You know, I mean, it's, it's not like he, he was a, ever a real boxer, but how many real boxers did that movie produce is the question, you know?